Good morning, everyone. Today... Today is Trash Night. Another game from 616. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Tuesday, 1997. 10 p.m. It's late, I need to leave. Okay, so we're at a bar. It's pretty sick. Okay. Can I talk to these guys? Oh, yeah. What about this guy over here? What's up, brother? Okay. Our car might be this way. Get down this alley. I'm assuming we just keep going. This looks crazy. Oh, what the heck was that? I love the style of these games, bro. It's, it's like super cool. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? Oh! What? Tuesday, 1997, 11.35pm. How did we just get killed there? Collect garbage bags from the market marked points. Okay. Okay, so this is me. <laughs> okay. Alright, last one. Throw the trash in the truck and go to the next area. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Can I drive? Nice! Oh, there's my camera there. Okay, so this is the protagonist. Alright. Dude, I am definitely being watched. Wait a second. There's definitely gonna be a dead body in this- in one of these trash things. 100%. Alright, let's just go back. Dump this. So far, nothing is super abnormal. Okie dokie. There's one. It's two. Okay, I don't... Very eerie, though. Okay, next. Oh, shit. Okay, here we are. So, I wonder what is gonna happen, bro. This... Okay, this house looks creepy. Alright, let's go back. I think this is it, right? Is this the whole neighborhood? Nope. Nope. <clears throat> Just living the garbage man life. Not so bad. Why are these houses all moldy? Okay.
Alright, this one's kind of far. I wonder when we're gonna see the uh, dead bodies. This house is sketchier. This house is getting scarier and scarier. Yeah. Why is it all boarded up? It's not a good sign. Go to the bright point. Okay. So this is 100% a serial killer's house. I mean, obviously. This is the home of the famous serial killer known as Knife Ripper. It's quite scary. Without a doubt, the most cruel killer who ever lived. He tortured his victims before killing them, but he did this for days, keeping the person alive and being tortured in the worst possible ways. His trademark was to remove the skin from the victim's faces, placing it on his own face like a mask, thus bringing extreme physical and psychological torture. After some complaints from neighbors, the police came to the killer's house to search. The, s the scene that the police witnessed was horrible. The sergeant described this episode as hell on humanity. The killer was identified as Joseph Johnson, a 42-year-old man with no family. He was never captured and remains number one on the United States Most Wanted list. Okay. This happened nine years ago. He was never seen again. Some say they see him wandering around, and that's why no one ever dared to enter the house. This is my opportunity to take exclusive photos of the house and try my career as a photographer. I just need photos that no one has the courage to take. I'm tired of picking up other people's trash. Well, respectable. Good thing I brought my camera in the truck. Let's go. Oh my god. Not good. Not a good idea. Hold aim. No. Take photo, dude. Why would we do this at night? He lives here, bro. No, it was not good. Looks like part of the fence is loose. What? Here? Oh my god, you idiot. Find a way into the house? Bro. Did he not just say he was a crazy killer, dude? We're done. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can get in through the crack in the garage. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna take a, take a photo here. No. There are still blood marks on the floor. That's incredible. This is where he left the bodies to rot. One of the reasons the neighbors complained. Okay, so... I take a photo of that or what? How is that not good enough? It was on the stove that he cooked pieces of his victim's bodies to eat. I need to take a photo. Oh, here we go. Okay. Next in here. Took a photo here, right? Oh, good photo, nice. It's one of six. Dude, I'm a little bit freaked out, not gonna lie. Why would we ever want to do this? Okay, so this could be a good photo. Nice. What about... Tools, maybe? No. Oh, wait. Maybe here? Just saw something. Oh, never mind. Okay, we got a photo of the stove. Did he not say... Okay, whatever. 
Now we gotta go upstairs. Yay! It's not a good idea, dude. Holy crap. How is that not a good photo? This is the worst room in the house. This is where he tortured his victims, right in this chair. Is that a chainsaw? Okay, good photo. Good photo of this chair here. Come on, that's gotta be a good one. No? Jesus. The most feared killer of all time slept on the bed. It's strange being here. Okay. Two more photos and we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Yo! No way! Is that a ghost? Madeline's body was found in this room. She was a child of just seven years old. She had been missing for seven months. Whoa, bro. Yo, bud, did you not see anything? Okay. The heck is this? Okay, one more photo. Ooh. It was in this bathtub that several dismembered bodies were found. I can still imagine the horrible scene. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to home to, take, to look at these photos. Okay, huge jump scare. Oh my god. How did we make it? How did we make it? Oh! Jerome, I'm sorry I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing here? Alright man, I was just taking some photos. Photography is my hobby. Aren't you afraid of the killer? He's still out there. No one ever caught him. I just wanted to take some photos of the house. Do you live in that neighborhood? No, I live far from here. I come here all the time. I look morbid places. I like morbid places. Smoke a joint and drink. How about we smoke, bro? No thanks. I'm leaving for home now. Finished my work. Have a good night. And if you want any advice, keep working as a garbage man. Photography will end up killing you. Alright, well, this is 100% the killer. <laughs> come on, bro. This guy must be crazy. This time of night and he's in a serial killer's house. Wednesday, 1997, 2.35 in the morning. Home sweet home, I'm going to reveal these photos. There we go. Okay, now it's 3 a.m. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow the photo should be clear. All right, let's take a look around here. So we live in an apartment building. Front door. Make sure that stays locked. This is our little bathroom here. Not too bad. All right, let's just go to bed. Oh, it's balcony. All right. Flip time. Alright, Wednesday, 9 in the morning. Good day, I'll see if my photos turned out any good. Alright, the photos turned out great. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. Take a photo, take all this. I'm a great photographer, I don't know why I work as a garbage man. It's kinda hard to be a photographer. Okay, what do I do with these? Come in here. Oh, here we go.
Okay. So now what? Oh crap. Someone's at the door, man. Dude! It's the same guy, Jerome. Good morning, we met last night in that abandoned house. Good morning, yes, I remember. How did you find me? Oh, there's an ad in the paper. You're a photographer, right? Yes, I do some odd jobs as a photographer. Do you need anything? I was the one who hired you to take photos of the famous serial killer's abandoned house. What? Are you Jerome? Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? I'm a discreet man. Are my photos ready yet? Could you hand it over to me? Bro. Yes, they're ready. I'll get them for you. Bro, I'm watching you, dude. There you go, dude. Wow, you're very good at this. Do you like the photos? I took them as you asked me over the phone. The most morbid part of the house. I love the photos. It may seem strange, but I like morbid things. I'm glad you like it. If you need any further service, just give me a call. I would actually like more photos. I'm fascinated by the story of the knife ripper. I would like more photos of the house. Right, I can take more photos now. I'm just going to work at dawn as a garbage collector. Now? No, I want the photos at dawn. To give it a more sinister look, please take some photos of the outside of the house too. Okay, no problem. Tomorrow your photos will be ready. Yeah, I think he's going to try to set us up. I'm going to watch some television. The newspaper has already started. The body of a 19-year-old girl was found inside a dumpster this morning. A homeless man found the body and immediately called the police. Police continued to investigate the crime scene. The young woman was tortured before she died. Her eyes and vices were torn out of her body. At the moment, the police only have one suspect, the famous serial killer Knife Ripper, because there was still a knife stuck in the victim's skull. I thought I would never witness a horror scene like this again. Such a brutal killer is still out there. Is Knife Ripper really back? After being missing for nine years, or is some other lunatic taking inspiration from him. His description is of a 39-year-old man. He uses the skin from his victim's faces as a mask and always attacks using knives. Police are offering a 5,000 reward for any information on the killer. Be careful when walking through the city streets at night. May God protect us all. Okay. I'm going to sleep. The work in the morning will be long. Did we just watch television? For eight hours, no way. Thursday, 1.22 a.m. I need to go to work. I hate this shit. Thursday, 2.20 a.m. I've done my job. Now let's go take more photos. I confess that this time I'm scared. Jeez, bro. He asked me for a photo of the house from the outside. Sure thing. Dude. Why is this extra scary? I'll take a photo of the back of the house too. Why are there so many chairs out here? Okay. Take a photo here. No. Bruh. Damn it. What the hell is that breathing sound? So, oh my god, I just rushed that. What?
This room definitely deserves another photo. Holy crap. No. I'm him. No way. This guy's out killing. Hey, woman. I'm gonna take it. No, 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 Yes. Just one more photo and I'll leave. I'm tired. Dude, this serial killer is about... is about to come back. With this body. I need to hurry up. Come on, bro. Oh wait, this door's open now. The heck? In this freezer, he kept the body parts for food. Uh oh. Thursday, 3.40 a.m. Going, I'm going to reveal the photos and go to sleep. They should be ready tomorrow morning. It's our day off. Not too bad. Serial killer's coming any second now. Good morning, Joseph. I hope my photos are ready. Good morning, yes. They're ready. What is your real objective with these photos? Dude. I already said I like morbid things. Right, let's just stick this. Whoa, buddy. You're not allowed to come in here. What's up? Whoa! What? Why is there a... Dude, I am him? Shut up. Alright, well... <laughs> so you like my work. I'm happy. Yeah, you're great. The photos are amazing. No. I only have one problem. I don't like curious people. No way, I poisoned him. Dude, it was me the whole time. What? Lot twist. Information from Jerome. Uh huh, I know it was you. I was sure. What do you want from me? Did you think they would hand me over to the police? Dude, this is so stupid. Look at this glitch, bro. I'm not going to tell you anything, you damn pig. Ah. Uh, dude, you know how dizzy I am right now? Get information from Jerome. Okay. Torture. 
Uh oh, don't do it. You bastard, I will kill you. You are a monster. Why were you after me? I know it's not for the reward. F you. I won't say anything to you. So let's continue with our game. Work? Okay. Jeez. Really my freaking eyeball. Son of a bitch. Kill me at once. Why are you after me? Are you from the police? No, you bastard. You killed my brother. I swear to God I will kill you. Oh, a revenge. Your brother bled like a pig. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's make this more interesting. Oh, a chainsaw. Dude, no. No. No, come on, bro. Can I play the bed? Shit, I wanted to play with you more. It seems like you couldn't last much longer, right? <laughs> what an evil dude. Oh god, that's that's gross. Okay, I guess what? What now? Woo! Woo! Is he gonna kill me? Where are you hell, you son of a bitch? Nope. Can't shoot me straight. Oh. Um, what the heck? I had a gun the whole time. There he is with his 5k. <laughs> Are you serious? Bro lost an arm and a, and a leg. And his freaking eyeball. For 5,000. Well, not his arm, but dude, I feel so, so bad for this guy. No way. Okay, so don't tell me he puts it on. Stop. Just never ending. Wow. Great, that was awesome. Alright guys, if you guys like that video, go ahead and give it a like and a subscribe. Come on. We're trying to get to uh, 15,000 subs. Love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I do this for you and for me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.